Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Let's just get my arse comfy in the seat. Uh, right, we are heading back to the old favourite now, the Perfect Draft Pro, and there was two brand new kegs uh, released yesterday. Uh, what date is it? 30th today, it's Thursday the 30th of March today. They released Wednesday the 29th. Ordered them yesterday, uh, turned up today. So we have one of them in the Perfect Draft Pro at this very moment in time. And the beer that we are going to be reviewing today is from Magic Rock Brewery. And this is their Magic Orange, and it's a chocolate orange stout coming in at 5%. Six litre keg, £38.90. Uh, obviously, there's a £5 keg deposit in there. Discounts on my last video, I said everything's all up in the air, and it is still sort of all up in the air, but discounts are down to what individual people order. Let me just get rid of uh, that message. Uh, but I was lucky enough to get the 15% off because I've ordered too many beers, clearly. Uh, so after the discount and the keg deposit, oh, <laughs> get away, Paul. You'll see this and you'll be going, oh, I was messaging them while he was trying to do it. Uh, yeah, basically after, di after the discount and the keg return, it's coming in at £28.65, I think I worked it out as, uh, for 10 pints of craft stout, if you like. So not bad value. Uh, before we get going, well, actually, uh, I've got the PD Pro set at seven. The app says seven to eight. Uh, so I've just done the typical thing that you do with the Pro, and it'll, if you just say continue, it will set it to the temperature that it thinks it should be set at. Uh, at the moment, it's currently at eight. It's taken forever to move. Uh, it did say seven. It should be down to seven, but seven, eight, it doesn't really matter. So we'll get to that in a minute. I will pause the video in a minute. We'll do the old video of the pour and then I'll come back. But just quickly uh, about the beer. Uh, this beer actually stems from the Dark Arts. So obviously they had Dark Arts on the Perfect Draft Pro. Uh, that was 6%, a very decent beer. Uh, this one contains cacao powder, candied orange peel, and the hops in it are laurel and target hops. I don't really know anything about them. I have heard of them, but I don't really know anything about the flavour. But it does say that it all sort of uh, complements each other, the hops and the flavours of the beer. So that's enough waffling. It does say a, a, about coffee and vanilla in the beer as well. But no, we're not going to go into that too much. Now, I did do a pour before because I've tried doing a re review before, but there's a couple of things going on at home at the moment. So I kind of cancelled that because my head was all over the place. So I only had a half. So hopefully, you know, because there was a lot of head on it on the first pour. So hopefully this pour is going to be a little bit better. My head's a bit clearer now. I haven't got things going around in it while I'm trying to do a review. So we're going to take this glass over there. We're going to do a video of the pour. Come back and take it from there. Back in a tick. So here we are at the filling stage. Magic rock glass, nice and clean. Like I said, the machine is at eight, even though it is set at seven, it's taking forever to cool down. Room must be warm. So let's give it a pour and see what we get. It's looking very, it's got an orange tinge to it. The beer has and the head, but we'll discuss that more when I, when I get going. But that does look very nice indeed. And I think we're gonna have a little bit of spillage, I think. Unless I do that. So we're back, beer in a glass. So you might look at that and think, oh, that's jet black and it's a tan head. And it is, it is. It's definitely a lot better than the first pour that I'd done because we were down to about three, four fingers. So it was coming down to about there. But you always get that with the first pour of a beer from the PD. Didn't bother me because I've had a taste. Uh, but beer in a glass, yeah, it might look black to you and like just a tan head, but there is sort of like an orange hue in there. Uh, there's definitely sort of like an orange sort of tinge to the beer. I'm not seeing many bubbles go up, but you wouldn't want too many bubbles in a stout with the style of the beer. So we've got about a finger ahead. It's sort of mix and match bubble head. Looks a decent drop. Looks a decent drop, so pardon me. Let's go in with the nose and see what we get. Now, somebody has reviewed the can that I know. Really didn't like it. They're not a big dark beer drinker. 
so you can sort of take that as personal taste uh, they said it was they, they really didn't like it but apparently it is supposed to be much better on keg I can't answer that I've not had it out of the can so I can only answer for what I'm going to be reviewing now but like I said let's dive in on the nose give it a sniff oh yeah that's chocolate orange malty rich but not overly sweet rich you're getting a massive massive chocolate hit there the chocolate is massive in it it yeah it actually probably i don't know i think i had the dark arts on the normal pd at three degrees and it was it was big on chocolate but this smells more on chocolate to be honest with that little underlying orange twang to it smells fantastic little bit of you do get that roastiness then there is a little bit of vanilla in there as well like it you know I did point that out in the notes I didn't want to do too much of that but but yeah there is that little sweet vanilla thing as well but it does smell decent so let's stop waffling on let's dive in on Magic Rock Bruins Magic <laughs> Chocolate Orange Stout on the Perfect Draft Pro set at seven degrees currently at eight degrees cheers <laughs> That is nice actually, that's nice. Let's go in again. Five percent, body of the beer. It was certainly better the first half I had, if you like, because it was it was it was pretty much half beer, half head. So the body felt heavier and creamier. So you know, I'll give it a swirl. Definitely adds to it. Definitely adds to the body. I don't think the body's that bad anyway, 5%. But when you add like a nice little creamy head to it, it certainly improves it. Very low on carbonation. Lots of small bubbles just in the background. But you do feel them. So I'm not gonna say the mouthfeel is the smoothest. Certainly not terrible, don't get me wrong, but you do you do feel the bubbles. Yeah, mouthfeel, softness and all that isn't bad. A little rough around the edges, but not terrible. On the taste though, and this is what counts the most, isn't it? I know little bits can can certainly make you make make a, make a beer different can't it it can, it can you know the mouth feels not great it can do this that and the other but ultimately it's the taste stop waffling bass let's go in and give us some tasting notes the initial thing for me was all chocolate all chocolate on the nose all chocolate on the taste the more your palate adjusts you're definitely getting more roastiness. You're definitely getting that underlying coffee sort of feel to it. The chocolate is in there, along with the vanilla. The vin vanilla is almost sort of, you sort of don't notice it, but it is there. You're getting that sweetness from the chocolate and vanilla. The chocolate all, almost sort of masks it, but there is that vanilla in the background. And really that, the orange is again just in the background it just gives it a, a little tang to it yeah it's just there just there you sort of get the roastiness the coffee the uh, the uh, chocolate the uh, vanilla and just behind that you just get that little tang of orange now I'm not a big orange fan don't get me wrong but I think they've got the orange just right in this. Some people might say not enough orange in there, but I don't think you want it overpowered, do you? Excuse me. 5%. 
it drinks like a 5% beer, probably you would think it could be a little bit less. Uh, on the back end as well of the beer, you do get a gentle sort of bitterness, that sort of typical stouty bitterness. I think it's quite a decent drop and what did worry me with this, I've got to admit when I found out it was going to be this release, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I genuinely thought Brewdog's Black Heart was going to be released and I thought that would be a better beer to be released on this because of the chocolate orange. I had in my head this was going to be a one or two pint job at a time so it's going to be a cake that you sort of like have a beer each night or sink over you know and, and, and finish it off like that whereas Black Heart being more along the Guinness lines would be more of a sessionable beer. But for me, it's not too sweet. The orange isn't overpowering, and I think this is actually a beer that you could have a few pints of. Uh, obviously, this is gonna be one pint for me. I've had half before. I could quite easily sit there and have another couple of pints. So, yeah, I think they've done a decent job of this. I've not had the can, like I say, so I can't judge it against that. And I think stouts and orange and all that sort of flavor is gonna to be to personal taste, but for me, I think they've done a good job of this. I think that's pretty decent. It's not over sweet. Yes, there is sweetness in there. I have got a sweet tooth, but I don't like anything over sweet. Or I think I don't like anything over sweet. I think they've got the sweetness right. I think they've got the orange right in this. There's a nice big full flavor of chocolate in there. You get the coffee and you get the roastiness. So Magic Rock Bruins, uh, or Magic Rocks, Magic Orange Chocolate Orange Stout and the Perfect Draft Pro. Is it worth a go? Yeah, it gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the keg goes because at the moment, like I say, I think that's one I could have a few pints of. And if they get it like that, they're onto a winner. Obviously, again, like I say, not everyone's taste buds are the same, but I think if you can, if you can drink three or four pints of that, it's going to be one that sells. I think if you're sitting there struggling to drink two pints of it or just have one pint at a time sort of thing, they might struggle on the sales. But I think they've got that just right for me. So, yeah, it's a big thumbs up from me for Magic Rock Bruins Magic Orange Chocolate Orange Stout. Uh, give it a go. Uh, <laughs> if you want to, of course, obviously. Uh, if you've had it before, obviously a lot of you would have had it in a can, so I don't really know, but feel free to comment. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Sorry for waffling on way too long. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.